So today, I'm going to be doing my first Q&A. So the first question, how did you start working for big creators? So this all started back in 2017. I was on Twitter on my computer, and I had just noticed Mr. Beast posted a tweet saying, join my Discord, help me come up with some ideas, and he had a link that led straight to his Discord. And after being in that chat room for a while, there was literally 50 people in that chat room not taking it seriously. I was the only one trying to help Jimmy with video ideas. And that actually led me to working with Mr. Beast for a while. I actually ended up helping him with his Discord server a little bit. I still have the highest role on that server intro killer there was literally a time where mr beast had me count every single plate that logan paul broke in every single one of his videos and i had to give him an exact number of how many plates logan broke and it was 2476 plates just so that mr beast can end up breaking 3000 plates which broke his record like i think i did a video where we like smashed 4000 plates like dropped them to see how they'd break and it's like well i don't know i hired just someone to help me pick up these plates and you know, hire someone to help with this. And, and then it just, you know, I started with like two or three people. And then every month I just hire someone else as the videos got bigger. And <laughs> here we are four years later. Yeah. Then fast forward to 2019, I just graduated high school and it was coming time for me to go to college and start my new job at Target. But little did I know I was going to be moving into the Team 10 house right before college started. I was there for six months working with Jake Paul. And then I started working with a TikToker named Just Michael. At the time, he only had 3 million followers. And I've been with him for two years now. And now he's at 50 million followers. So I don't really work with Michael anymore. And now i'm currently working for youtubers tiktokers and artists and now i'm able to work with whoever i want it's super lit what does the jgl mean in your name so i actually get this question quite a lot and for some reason people think it's matthew jiggle like when you like shake something that doesn't make any sense like, how do you possibly think it's matthew jiggle the jgl in my name stands for jorge gonzalez lugones which is my middle name my last name and my mom's last name that's why it's matthew jgl so the next question who's your favorite editor my favorite editor is definitely gonna have to be hayden hillier smith this man is a beast he was logan's editor for many years he's done daily vlogging for logan he has a channel of his own if you guys ever want to start youtube or get into it his videos really give you a strong foundation to what you need to know when it comes to creating content i honestly suggest you guys go check him out he is an absolute monster he literally won a streamy award for editing if you guys want to do youtube just go watch his videos trust me you'll thank me later so the next question how long have you been making content for so i've been making content for many years now it goes all the way back to 2013 so the name of this channel used to actually be techno and i used to make minecraft trolling videos call of duty trolling videos all that type of stuff funny moments gta 5 just a kid trying to pursue his dreams and i actually stopped posting in like sophomore year i think because i wanted to start picking up the camera more the reason why i even got into making content was because of vanos gaming and phase clan phase clan was a big reason why i started making content i just loved the whole vibes from the new york phase house i don't know what it was but it just really got me wanting to make content and like kind of live that lifestyle one day and it's crazy because i was able to do it you know like i feel like if you put your mind to something you can definitely do it like i would be sitting behind my phone screen as a kid thinking I want to be in one of these houses. I want to do this type of stuff. And I'm finally able to live that now. It's such an amazing experience. And if you guys want to experience something like that, I really suggest you guys to do it because you will never regret it. Like it will be the best thing ever. Trust me. Next question. You left Jonathan and the Schlove house. I never thought I would make a public statement on why I left, but I I think I have to just because of the situation at hand. Let me just say something real quick. I will miss Jonathan, guys. Like Jonathan was my best friend. I don't think you guys understand that me and this kid would literally spend so much time together that I literally felt like he was like my nephew or something. It just sucks that I had to leave. I just don't think you guys understand how stressful it was living in that house when there was content that needed to be made. And I was never the issue. Let me just tell you that much. I was ready to do what I had to do. I was ready to start planning these videos, filming them, editing everything. That's what I did for this guy. I just don't think you guys understand how stressful it was waking up every day and not doing any content. I live for content. I love making content. And knowing that the person you're working with wants to slow down on content, like why would anybody ever want to slow down on content? I'm sorry, but if we had something good, we were able to make amazing, super fire videos videos and you want to throw it all away because you want to make less content like do you bro i'm not going to hold you from not making any content if you don't want to make content then don't make content and the main reason why i left michael was because he decided to hop on a podcast as we were working together and this is what he had to say Keep and you think of all this stuff yeah you do yeah no help no one says hey michael here's a 20 you know things you can do <laughs> tomorrow or next week um not really stop the cap i mean um, i'll have some people like throw ideas out at me but uh I'll kind of pick and choose. Even the lady knew he was capping. Why would anybody ever act like they do everything themselves? Like, that's so stupid. I just don't understand why any influencer or any artist or whatever it is, why they would ever say they do everything themselves. It's obvious that you have a team. I understand you want to look cool, 
but that's not how you do it next question where do you see yourself in 10 years i see myself in paradise whether if that's in heaven whether if that's on a beach with my family just living life and just exploring the world i don't plan to lift a finger in 10 years i want to have it where i want my money making money like i feel like that's the only way to really live life at this point right i would like to see myself still making content in 10 years i don't think i would ever really stop making content i feel like is always just going to be there and it's just always going to be a thing that i do like i feel like that's a reason to life is just to make content like i love it like I've been doing this for so long. Like, why would I ever stop? Like, I, I don't see myself stopping. Literally. No way. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below what type of videos you guys want to see me do. And until next time, see you guys later. She loved me for my lifestyle. Got my phone on speed dial. I've been on my own shit. You can never keep me hostile.